Divine Feminine Baby Girl. What's a going, baby girl day? <laughs> Here I go again with this fake ass Jamaican accent. Okay, listen, y'all. What is going on, you guys? It is Scorpion Red Tarot. I am back at it again on this wonderful full moon. What's going on, y'all? What is going on? I am here to let you know what the Divine Feminine Daily Bread is for today. All right, Wednesday the 20th and tomorrow uh, the 21st of March. All right, so let's get into this, you guys. Thank you guys so much for all the likes, shares, and subscribes. Thank you guys so much for supporting my page. If you all want to book a personal private reading, you already know what to do, boo. Go ahead and click that About tab. There's a hyperlink down there at the bottom that says Scorpion Reds Tarot at Simply Book Me. Again, it says Scorpion Reds Tarot at Simply Book Me. If this video resonates and you want to give a love donation, you can feel free to do so. Um, like I said, all of your support has gone to the purchase of all of these decks this one is new this one is new and this one is new and this one is new so thank you guys for all of the love and support as you see it goes right back into the page and y'all let me know how y'all feel about the decks hey I do okay so some of y'all said that y'all are not feeling the rebel deck the rebel deck the ones with the curse words and stuff y'all let me know because if y'all don't like it i will not use it if for whatever reason if you feel like in the spread that's the one card that i've been using out of the new decks that every time it just does not resonate with you or you feel like it's possibly offensive let me know i'll remove it so anyway let's get into the prayer for today Father God, thank you so much for bringing us here for the Divine Feminine. Thank you so much for waking us up. Thank you so much for allowing the transitions and changes throughout this full moon phase. Um, you know, this retrograde. A lot of things have been coming back to us that we deserve back. And uh, what it really is, is peace, tranquility, and happiness. Thank you so much for allowing our peace, tranquility, and happiness to come back to us and for us to be able to make clear decise uh decisions to just block or remove certain things and certain people and energies that we don't want in our life anymore and we're choosing happiness this time around during this retrograde season we ain't even scared of it no more okay so thank you so much father god for all of the growth that we've just gone through as just the collective divine feminine because we've been going through this together and i thank you so much for all the inner strength and the wisdom that has been passed throughout you know because i see you ladies down in the comments y'all be supporting each other y'all be uplifting each other y'all be sharing y'all stories and y'all support each other and i love it y'all continue to lean on each other as we're going through this journey y'all is divine feminine takeover the wait is over ain't shit changed the same shit I've been saying since 2018, I'm saying it now. 2019 is the year of the Divine Feminine. It's the goddamn takeover. I hope y'all ain't forgot, and I hope y'all still got that vigor and that fire lighting up under y'all ass, okay? Y'all ladies, get y'all manifestation books out if y'all have already had them. I need y'all to look at it and see what on that list can you take a, a market and check off, okay? Let's see how much we've accomplished and how much more we are trying to accomplish during this season, all right? Because we're going through this season for a reason in the name of Jesus. Thank you so much, Father God, for giving us this anointment, for giving us this blessing, for giving us this purpose in our life right now, Father God. Please give us guidance, daily bread, daily nourishment for the Divine Feminine for March the 20th and the 21st thank you so much again for all of the blessings and the lessons in the past present and future please give us guidance father god all right so let's see what we got here wednesday and thursday ladies let me know how's everything been going y'all y'all let me know down in the comment section how has 2019 been treating you so far like from january 1st till now what have you been able to like check off on your manifestation list what have you been able to check off okay y'all let me know so far you know this full moon has the full moon giving you any weird stuff or whatever <laughs> y'all let me know I look forward to the full moon, you guys. I really, really do. I really do because I get to do a lot of things on full moon, you know. Get to do my little spiritual cleansing baths. And, you know, I take it as a time of pampering and a time of just 
you know, complete, just inner refreshing. You know what I'm saying? Inner, what am I about to do? Inner refreshment. Oh. What is going on with this energy, y'all? Goddamn moon, I'm trying to tell you. It's like, so what I'm getting so far is, like, you guys have completely abandoned the fight. You've abandoned the competition. You've abandoned trying to prove your point and try to get people to understand where you're coming from and hear you out. Um, you might have just come to a point where it's like, look, I'm even willing to... Um, here go that forgetting who you are again. Y'all keep getting that. Y'all not trying to transition over. Y'all still keeping to the norm. And y'all need to let go of that. Impossible things. Working through disbelief. Imaginative leaps. Fresh perspective. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. All righty. Yeah, but you guys are, um, mm-hmm. You guys are, I feel like for the people that are married, you guys are even ready to come to a point of negotiation. Y'all are, I mean, it's just like, look, I'm just tired of, of, of arguing and battling with you. You know what I'm saying? Like, my passions is not here no more. Let's just negotiate, you know, and figure out where we're going to stand with each other and how we're going to, you know split things up and deal with things from here and you know I'm just like I'm leaving my heart on the table and I'm leaving like I just I just don't have I just don't have this to do I just don't have this to do and this woman is trying to forget she's trying to forget and forgive that place of where she was because she's in a brand new space in a new world and this person is realizing up here today on Monday that you can't take those thoughts and those ways that you had when you were going through this fight you can't take that into this new world because this is a complete strange new environment and they don't really rock like that here you know what i'm saying like it's not it's, it's this is a complete strange new world ten of cups hold on the ten of the ten of pentacles in reverse the ten of cups in reverse the tribe, the dark cloud over the tribe. What in the hell? This wasted love coming on. Oh, this is how y'all are feeling for real. That's a wasted love. Yeah, y'all are going through big transitions. Big transitions. You wasn't listening. And now you ready to ask for help. You finally ready to ask for help. Let's give us some guidance in, in regards to life purpose right now. We need to focus on in regards to life purpose. Freedom. Just very sensitive right now. I call the imagine. Please give us some harsh truths. Get the fuck out of your head. You're giving your power away.
All right, so you guys, so for today, the energies for today, Wednesday, the 20th of March. Like I said, you guys have finally decided I I just want to negotiate and I just kind of want to walk away from the situation. There's no point on me sitting up here putting up this battle and this fight in this situation. Um, I feel like it's taken too long for you guys to get to a point where y'all were able to come to negotiation and people actually sit down and listen to each other. I feel like right now you are at a point where this person is able to sit down and negotiate, but you know, it's like too late. You're at the point where you're ready to abandon this shit. So it's just like, you know, let's hurry up and have this quick conversation because I gotta go. I gotta go. It's like that flower that they gave you when they first, it's like whatever it was that they gave you that represented that spark, that fire, that desire that you had when y'all first met each other, whatever it was that represented that, that's that flower. You, you literally took it, you sat it on a chair and you walked away and you left that shit behind. Mm hmm. So during this full moon stage, y'all are most definitely closing chapters. I mean, if you thought you had closed it before and y'all were teeter tottering and playing around and, and, and still lingering and straddling that fence, it's the end now. Because tomorrow, oh, honey, <laughs> you just like, look, I don't want to fight no more. We just need to agree to disagree and move on. We look, we need to agree to disagree. And move on. You ain't got to agree with me. We, you know, we're not going to, we're not going to see eye to eye on the situation. I feel like someone don't want to take responsibility for their actions because wands, that's actions. So I feel like someone didn't want to take responsibilities for their actions. And, you know, this Leo might be like, you know, look, tch, I'm cool. I'm cool. You know what I'm saying? Not going to argue with you. It's all right. You know? I feel like this person might possibly, I mean, they're, they're, they're definitely going through a point where it's just like they've been so stuck in this way of being, in this conditioning, in this relationship, you know? They have been so stuck in this way that they don't know how to forget being this way. Because this is in the reverse. And Spirit wants you to forget who you are at this current state. You're in a brand new world. This is a whole totally strange environment. You have to adapt to your environment. You can't do that by being the same person that you were. Because you're not that person anymore. You're not that person anymore. And you have to stop trying to play this juggling this balance in that. It's like it's like right now you're trying to pay this balance in that. It's like trying to focus and hold on to what you know because that's what you used to, and at the same time trying to change. And I feel like at the same, I feel like you're holding on to what you're used to because you're just used to it, and that's and, and that's what it's saying. Like I know you're used to this behavior. I know that you're used to this type of relationship, this way of being. It is time for you to decide, do you want to change or do you want to remain the same? Because the Lord is going to give you more of that. Because I'm going to tell you what, if you, just, if you don't decide to forget who that person is, that person is that was going through this, that was going through this shit right here, this, this battle, this conflict, okay? See, this is the good tarot deck. It make, it make the five of wands look pretty, right? But it really wasn't a pretty situation. The blessing about it is, is that it helped you elevate. And that's the beauty of it. That's why we're using this deck. Because this is a beautiful transition. I don't want you to see the battle, the conflict, the hurt, and, you know, the envy and the pain. That's not where we're at right now. We're at a beautiful stage of transition. Okay? And you see these, fly you see these flowers. You see the butterflies. You see... Some flowers, I mean, you're, 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 you're seeing beauty, growth, elevation, movement, movement, movement. You're finally letting this shit go, but you got to forget who you are. It's like, okay, you're moving, but are you mentally moving? You need to spend more time getting that balance on deciding where you want to be. 
I feel like, and, and I, it's not that I feel like I've been saying this. I have been saying this. And God has been saying this. Intuitively, intuitively in your mind, you know that you need to stop trying to hold on to this old cycle and this way of thinking and this way of being. But I just feel like you're, you, you keep saying in your head, it's easier said than done. It's easier said than done. It's not easier said than done. You can let this go. You can let this go. Let me read this. It's 41. And I, I don't really want to read it because I feel like we just did this. Forget who you are. It says in the reverse, believe in everything that you have been told you are. Defining yourself through labels, cultural programming, rules, and laws. Missing out on the beautiful, open-hearted opportunities to conduct to connect due to why can't I fucking read Jesus Lord help me come through father come through father today okay let me try this one more time one more again okay oh this is my song believe in everything that you have been told that you are defining self through labels cultural programming rules and law missing out on beautiful heart opening opportunities to connect due to conformity and rigid beliefs okay so, you program yourself in your relationship and your situation, programmed yourself to make you feel like you have to make this balance and you have to make this juggle and you still have to hold on to these old patterns. You're just, you're just having a hard time letting go of old patterns. Old patterns. It says, quiet your mind, beloved one, and listen to our gentle reassurance that everything has been taken care of. Stay in a quiet, receptive state without worrying about the exact nature of your desire's manifestation. A quiet mind and body hears us quickly and clearly. This is our request to listen here. Yeah, you're not, you're not being quiet. I feel like you're almost internally fighting with yourself. Like I said, you, okay, so you see the cups in the background, the two cups. It's like a very choppy little little sail right there. And, and, you know, it's like rough waves. It's a, uh, you know, I feel like you're like in a very just like emotional, unstable situation right now trying to find this balance. And, and because you're so emotionally unstable right now, trying to find the balance, you're not able to clearly hear your intuition when it's when it's talking to you. And right now, you know, spirit is trying to tell you that you're, you're, you're free to do what you want to do. And you see those dolphins in the back. They go that water again. You are smart. OK, so it might be you guys might have been having a relationship with a Leo, with the fire. OK, and you guys might be a cancer, Pisces or Scorpio because there's a lot of water right here. There's water right here. Well, I mean, of course, you know, there's Earth. So you might also be a Taurus, Virgo or Capricorn. But I feel like right now you guys are trying to deal and like strengthen your emotion, have some emotional balance. And spirit is trying to tell you with them dolphins being in the background that you are free to do what you want to do. And you're smarter than you think you are. You can navigate these waters easier than you think you can. Get the fuck out of your head. Okay? Get the fuck out of your head and get into your heart. Now, if that ain't a message... Get into your heart. It misses you. Get the fuck out of your head and get into your heart. It misses you. Okay? Follow your heart. Your heart is guiding you to this new world, to this new land. And I'm going to read this to you in the upright so you can understand what it is, what you should be doing. Okay? Even though my ass can't read, Lord, why am I trying to read again? Lord Jesus, come on now. I know I can't read. I can only read on Thursdays. Hold on. So it says, um, you were in the... Okay. What do you call yourself? The fawn said. At last, such a soft, sweet voice it had. I wish I knew, thought poor Alice. She answered rather sadly. Nothing just now. Think again, it said. That won't do. Alice thought, but nothing came to her. Please, would you tell me what you would call yourself? She said timidly. I think it might be a little bit help. I'll tell you. If you come in a little further, said the fawn, I can't remember here. So they walked together through the woods. Alice came with her arms clasped lovingly around the soft neck of the fawn until they came on into another field. 
So it says you're in the midst of a new experience. Let me show you this. You're in the midst of a new experience. One in which you have no idea of who you are anymore. Paradoxically, this is apparently a loss of self and its beautiful gifts. This loss of memory of that self, the, absent, the absence, the conditioning that defines us mean that we can approach new people and situation with an innocent with an innocence and freshness. This is an opportunity to connect from the heart. So it is with Alice when she enters the looking glass forest with magical powers. All who enter forget who they are, thus not knowing he ought to be frightened of the human. The fawn approaches Alice. She responds with a credible fondness of the fawn. And they meet in simple affection, connection, and friendship. When we forget what we have been taught to fear, hate, it brings the opportunity for a whole new series, series of beautiful relationships to blossom. This situation will find yourself now. All right. Forget what you've been telling yourself you are. Forget what others have said you ought to be. Forget the enmity, the avoidance, the fear that we live too often in. Forget who have you been taught to be. Instead, reawaken the innocence of the soul. Unknow thyself. Accept the mystery of you. Within that open space, within that forest where we all are returned to our ancient most natural self. We can be one again. You are discovering what can happen when you rely less on conditioning, memory, and civilizations, and more on your heart, receptivity, and nature. New friendships, connections, and gentleness and joy will be yours. So, just like it said, you are like, you're, you're, you're opening up the door to new friendships and new connections. And you will, you know, truly be at a joy a joyful place. Once you stop being here and truly turn this around and forget that person who you are and give yourself a chance to truly be free. And that's why they're saying get out of your head and get into your heart. Like follow your heart. Okay? Out of the head, white, clear, clean slate. Follow your heart and listen. Like listen. Listen to what Spirit has been trying to tell you guys. Alright, so let's get into tomorrow. Alright, this is the reckoning day. I just feel it. It is. Boy. Impossible things. Mm, mm, mm. Alright, so this is... This is the ending. I feel like there has been a collapse to a family environment. This is the divorce. This is the separation of assets. So I feel like some of you guys might possibly be maybe going to a court and going through the final stages of separation where you guys are. Maybe I've been in a battle of like dividing up assets and trying to you know, go through um, visitation, like family court type of thing. I feel like I've been going through family court. And this is the tail end of that chapter. I feel like this week y'all are going to be wrapping this up. <laughs> like it's like the last court date or whatever. And I feel like that dark cloud that's over your family and this ending, this divorce, this chapter, it's like finally the fuck over. I feel like the divine feminine feels like this dark cloud has been over my fucking family ever since we broke up. I'm tired of going to court. I'm tired of seeing you. <laughs> like, let's get this visitation together so I can say you outside. I'm sending the kids out the door. Bye-bye. And I can go... And get my new Ten of Pentacles. Like, okay, she's like, okay. Look. I'm ready for this dark cloud to be removed. Alright? Impossible things. I have no idea what this card means. Because, again, this is a new deck. Thanks to you guys and your love and support. So, let's see what this means. Okay? This says, working through disbelief, imaginative leaps, fresh perspective. There's no use in trying, she said. No one can believe impossible things. 
I darest you haven't had much practice, said the queen. When I was your age, I always did it for half an hour a day. Why, sometimes I believed as many things as six impossible things before breakfast. Alice is correct. It is indeed difficult to believe in impossible things. However, the queen's viewpoint that resonates most with Alice. How is, hold on, hold on. However, it is the queen's viewpoint that resonates most with Alice, yes. And when you receive this card with you too, you are being asked to believe in something that seems impossible at the present. This could be a miracle or something that seems too good to be true. It also talks of belief as a matter of discipline and practice. As the queen says, she practices believing in the impossible things. What if you were to practice believing in the impossible? If you were to spend half an hour a day meditating on a miracle... Changing your thoughts or focusing on creating an amazing life. You would slowly but surely expand the limits of possibility. If you devote a half an hour each day to creating wonderful changes within your life, what would you achieve? Financial breakthroughs, relationship, bliss, physical healing. Devoting yourself to something you wish to improve. When we do this, then just like the queen... We too start to believe in impossible things because dedication steadily brings the impossible closer. A struggle to accept what is seemingly unlikely. Devote regular time to improving a situation. Become better at something you care about or changing something for the better. Meditate on a miracle, believing in impossible things. To listen. Listen, Linda. I told you it's the day of the reckoning. In the day of the reckoning. And I feel like. You feel like. Okay. At this point. You feel like the impossible thing right now. Is emotional happiness and fulfillment. Because you just lost. You just lost. Everything you worked hard for. This marriage. This family. This connection. Like You're, you're having to start over. You know what I'm saying. You're having to start over. And I feel like. The Divine Feminine is just, I feel like, a little worn down a little bit. And just feels like it's impossible at this point, at this current state in her life. She just doesn't see the happiness. She just doesn't see how after everything that she been through. Like, everybody's like, oh, it's going to be a new door, better day, new beginning. She's like, bitch, where? Where? Only thing I see is unhappiness. Like, this dark cloud is over my family. Like, I'm just going through bullshit. I'm going through bullshit right now. I truly am. And she's tired. She's fucking tired of feeling unhappy. And it's like, how do you expect me to believe in something I can't see? You believe in God, don't you? I, no, I'm seriously asking. I need y'all to type that down. You believe in God, don't you? Yes? Can you see him? Do you believe him? Have you not seen him perform miracles in your life? Have you not just got strong enough to get your ass out of the situation when you never thought that you would be able to beat this? That you never thought, I not last year, you didn't think that you would even be right here. Why you can't believe in the impossible? You don't believe horses can fly? <laughs> I wonder why. I do. Shoot, I believe in a bunch of weird ass shit. Don't mean God's telling you, listen, you 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 don't believe that you can achieve this emotional happiness. This ten of cup fulfillment again. Why? Because right now you're extra sensitive and you're giving away your power. You're giving away your power to this situation. And spirit and God want you to believe and just come to them and ask for help. Help. To refill your cup. Okay? To refill your cup. I feel like you need that. You need that star card here. You need to like really strip yourself naked and bathe in those waters of wisdom. Refill your cup and take that and pour that back onto your earth. Back onto your foundation. So you will forever, every step that you walk, every day. 
You'll be filled with love, life, laughter, joy, and happiness, faith, freedom, and abundance. Do you hear me? Do you hear me? Only thing you have to do is ask. 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 Ask us to help you in this situation, and we will immediately go to work on your behalf. We are governed by so many universal laws, and among them is the free will that allows you to make your own choices and decisions. So we're patiently waiting your request. All you got to do is ask. And the thing is, I think you, I, I'm hearing, I already asked. I've been asking. I've been praying. Okay. You've been praying to get you out of this situation. Right? That's done. We performed that miracle. No one said it was going to be easy. The God said it was going to be easy. He didn't say it was going to be easy. But you what, what you haven't asked him about is the impossible happening. You haven't asked him to turn this unhappiness around yet. You asked him to get you out of the unhappiness. We did that. We've accomplished that. Pat yourself on the back. Now... What you need to ask. We've accomplished that. Fill me up, God. Fill me up. Please take me out of this place of sensitivity where I'm just so sensitive right now. Because I am giving this situation too much power. You are giving away your power. It says you're a badass. Act like it. I don't know why this deck don't resonate with y'all because I feel this message. You are giving away your power. You are a badass. Act like it. Okay? Act like it, baby. All right, so let's break this down one more again. One more again for my friends. The, the 20 twin twin. Nigga. All right. So all bucks. Off bucks. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Alright. So right now you are in the midst of going through this negotiation period. And um y'all are coming to a point where y'all are actually able to possibly sit down and listen to each other and just come to some type of rational decision about this ending and splitting up assets and visitations and things in regards to this breakup. And if y'all don't have kids and y'all live with each other, y'all are just someone's moving out. Y'all like some y'all some y'all are moving. Someone's moving back home. Okay. Um someone is staying in the apartment, you know, and y'all are going through well, who's taking what? Boop, 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 boop. If y'all don't live with each other, y'all are just breaking up and some of y'all want y'all shit back. And someone's moving. Okay, so I'm saying I'm moving like so. Let's just wrap this shit up. Let's wrap it up. Y'all are moving forward. Y'all moving ahead. All right. There's been an abandonment of a tribe. So for some of you guys, I do feel like maybe the male might have abandoned the tribe. Okay. There's been a dark cloud over. Your family. And that's why you guys might have went to court. To take this person to court. To reap. <laughs> so they can reap what they sow. Y'all probably took them for alimony. Child support. All of that stuff like that. And y'all are going through the negotiations. You know because this person. Kind of just walked away. And then just left you there with the kids by yourself. And didn't really, you know what I'm saying? So, that's what you guys are possibly going through right now. Dealing with addressing this abandonment and removing this dark cloud from over your family. Because it's like, okay, you can walk away, but bitch, you ain't about to just walk away without making sure that you take care of what you're supposed to be taking care of. And y'all are getting some, y'all are collectoring, y'all are collectoring, <laughs> y'all are collecting and gathering some asses to death. All right? So, after all of this, you are worn out. You are tired. You are in a place of disbelief. And you've been so stuck in dealing with the conditions of the situation. You are finding it almost impossible to believe that happiness is coming. And you have to work through this. You, It's human nature 
to go through ups and downs in life. But that does not mean that you have to stop believing in your own personal happiness and believing in miracles. We need you to believe in miracles again. Okay. Listen. I don't know the words to Beyonce's song. But I'm gonna say whatever the fuck I want. Listen. Can you come and speak to God? Tell him your troubles and he will take them from you. Listen, it ain't as strange as it seems. I know it all seems like a dream, but we're here as a team. Listen, won't you ask him for strength? And he'll build up your inner sides And you'll learn how to ride Holy sun I don't know what the fuck that came from, but shit, I don't know I hope y'all took that for whatever the fuck that I don't even remember what the hell I just sung, bitch, whatever Anyway, listen Listen, listen, God Do I have to scream, listen, li listen, Linda Ask God to help you stop believing in yourself And that this transition was to bring you sadness happy, and not happiness. This was not to bring you sadness. This was to bring you freedom. Listen, okay? You have to put down juggling. Right now, you are grabbing a brand new beginning in your life and you're still holding on to the unhappiness of the past. You have to decide to stop juggling this because it is making you emotionally unstable. You have to grab this new foundation and this new beginning and this happiness. That's what you need to work on. You need to stop putting energy and effort in thinking about everything that made you unhappy and everything that you lost in the past. It's dead. It's gone. It's over. You need to listen. Okay? Freedom. During this point, you are free and you're going to go through some points of sensitivity. But you can get past this and you're stronger than this. All right, listen, get the fuck out of your head and realize that you are giving the situation too much power. You are a bad ass and giving it to your heart. All right, get into your heart. It misses you. All right, you guys, I'm out. Peace.